Hi guys, um, Flicker here, and this is my first video in ages. So, yeah. Um, basically what I'm going to be doing today, I've got an idea off my mate, he wanted to know how to do modelling. So, I'll show you how to do that. One minute, guys. Okay, whatever. Um, this is for Wexer. So, he wanted me to do a video of tutorial on modeling so that's what I'm going to do basically the modeling is not it's not that hard if I'm going to be honest with you there's only a few tools you need um, basically say we start with a disc no a tube and we spin it 90 degrees like so right you got that then you see down here where it says tube object um, it says cap segments and rotation segments um, firstly shrink that into the middle cap segments are the things spinning around so just keep that the same whatever it was 36 and then there's height segments as well right, the cap segments are the things in the middle like that I normally have that on 8 and then the height segments are on the side so I'm going to have it on 4 or 5. Have it on 5. Alright, and then after you've done that, basically this is where you put what you put a logo in the middle and it looks pretty cool. Then what you want to do, you want to click this button here. Um, it's like an orange circle sphere into one with bits like this on it. Right, and you do that, and then you click this button. Bearing in mind, whatever, because it looks different on R12. And I'm working on R13. Um, hopefully, I think it might be the same button. I'm not sure. Right, then you want to go tools, no, select and loop selection or ring selection. Uh, normally click loop. And then you want to go to the outside of this. Click there. Hold down shift. Oh, done it wrong. Hold down shift and click these ones. And then right click and extrude. Extrude that out a little bit. And then go matrix extrude. And you get this effect look. It brings it out like spikes. Right, that looks nice, but not not exactly. No, it doesn't look nice at all. Then what you want to do, you come down here and matrix extrude down here. And then if you want it that like that you can actually I'm going to change it so it's it's one at a time so I'm going to do one at a time so it's um different each time right change that one to five not 500 right and then you can scale it change the scale fatness don't know what that one does you can rotate it round bring it up like so look gives it a nice effect um, and then what I'm going to do I'm going to grab loop selection again and go to the one behind it and then extrude that one out again but I don't want it the same so I'm going to change that Keep it on 10. And we're going to just change the settings. Change these settings however you want. You don't have to copy, uh, you don't have to do them the same as mine. Because this is your model and it's how you want it. I don't know what that looks like. Doesn't look great, but you know, looks a bit better. As you can see there, look. Whatever. it'll look rubbish because it's got no textures on it. As you can see here, look. Looks quite cool. Right, anyway. Back to it.
Ja. Ähm. Grab this bit here. And then we're gonna ex do that. Obviously we're not gonna have it that big because that looks ridiculous. Redonculus. Shrink that down to whatever you want it as. I really don't know what that one does. What the hell does that do? I'm gonna do these ones like blades. So it looks like sort of like that. Don't I? Anyway, just gotta fiddle around with these settings. I'm gonna make it smaller. Leave it that, and then what we're gonna do is um, it's going to extrude, and then you want to zoom in. And what I normally do is every two, so hold shift while you do it, but miss out one square. Then do the same here. It's up to you really what you want to do with it. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to extrude it in, like so, and then I'm going to add a texture in there. What should I go for? Maybe, maybe a nice green or I don't know. Whatever colour shall I have? I'll go for this red. Right, and as you can see, it goes red in the middle. One minute. As Wex are talking. Um, it's really bad from behind. Yeah, like that. And then, what I'm also going to do, is going to loop selection this inside bit. No, I'm gonna extrude it out first. Just a tiny little bit. And matrix it. Just give it a bit of a outward effect. And then I'm gonna loop these bits that I've extruded out. I'm gonna extrude, I'm gonna matrix it. Like that, that looks pretty good now. Then what you're gonna want to do, you're gonna want to add an effect to the, um, I mean a color to the whole thing. So a good one to use is normally just a grey, like that. If you render that out, look. You know, also I will link you to a Cinema 4D R13 um, download, which is a lot better than R12. 
Um, the best place to look, really, if I'm honest, is foreshared.com. Um, I know not mo most people just look on YouTube and try and find it, for, but for me that took absolutely ages. So, and uh, yeah, you can get Photoshop on there, you can get Cinema 4D, um, but yeah, I'll link you to it, uh, to the one I downloaded, and all you've got to do is download it. Uh, when you've downloaded it, click it and it will come open, uh, but what you'll have to do, you'll have to find a video which has serial codes and then just copy them from the description and put them onto the Cinema 4D, okay? Yeah, like you normally would. Right, that looks quite good, but what I want to do is sort that out because they look weird. That, that, and that. Delete them. So it looks normal. Right, then what I'm going to do is uh, merge a layer. So get your AI file or whatever um, I'm just gonna do my clan's logo clan I made called snap right, I'm gonna have to turn it Then extrude that. You obviously know how to extrude. If you didn't know how to extrude, you didn't... oh God's sake, I hate when it does this. Extrude that. Never get it on right now. Yeah, like that. Have it sticking out a little bit. Then change so it goes into it. Then you're going to want to put probably put that colour on it again. Or what you could do, you could I haven't got it on there. Don't matter. Um, yeah, then position it how you want it. Probably group these together. And then, um, and render that out. So yeah, hopefully this video has helped you um, grasp how to do these sort of logos. A lot of them, a lot of people uh, designers do it. I think it's quite nice because uh, it's quite it's quite hard to do. Well, not hard to do, but like you know what I mean. Um, I think it looks really nice, um, yeah, so, like I said, I'll put in a link to Cinema 4D R13 in the description, and hopefully you guys will like, the, uh, have a go at this, send me a video response of you doing it, so that, send that, so that I can see that it's helped people and that yeah so it's helped people and also if you could like and comment on the vid 
telling me if I should do more of these or not. So it really is up to you guys. Um, yeah, I'll just wait for this to finish rendering. Then I'll go. Yes, yeah, so that looks really nice, quite clean as well. So, yeah, if this helped, leave a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, th thanks, guys. I'm out.